This video is for those of you who basically know nothing about extracting document data using robotic process automation. You might not be a developer even. I'm going to build everything from scratch with nothing pre-installed on my computer. And I'll show you how easy it is to extract data from documents that the robot that doesn't exist yet has never seen before. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open a browser and go to uipath.com. Then up here in the corner, there's a button that says you can try UiPath for free. You want to click that. Then um, you can click down here to get uh, Automation Cloud for community. That basically means it's a free version of UiPath that you cannot use commercially, but you can try things out with it. So we'll click that. Then up here, I will click sign in because I already have an account. Uh, that I want to sign in with. I will sign in with my uh, Google account. I'll select my account here that I'm logged into Google with. And now basically I'm in the UiPath platform. I still need to create what's called an organization. So I'll just uh, select uh, Denmark as my country here. And we'll call the company for our test company and create the organization. That will just take a second to create. And basically what you've just done now is you've created a UiPath cloud automation platform where you can actually build real stuff. And this is what it looks like. What we want to do is we want to go up to the menu here and we can see that we don't have the product called document understanding. So we want to go to admin click this default tenant here. This is sort of the area that we're going to be working in. Click services, add services, and then we'll select document understanding. We will select uh, actions and we will click add down here at the bottom and just give these two uh, spinners just a, a second to get everything up to date. Once that's done, we can click F5 and if I now go to the menu up here, I can see that I have something called document understanding. If I go into that, this is where the real magic happens. We can create a project or we can create an automation. And I have done another video. You can find a link to it somewhere up here or somewhere up there. I'm not sure uh, where I show in a little bit more detail how you create these project type uh, automations. But now we just want to create a very simple automation. So we'll click uh, create automation over here. And what it wants us to do now is to upload a sample document um, so that it knows what kind of document is it we're working with. So I'll just kind of resize my window here, out here on my uh, desktop. I have a folder of uh, a couple of uh, orders, purchase orders. This is from the Training Gear Central Company. It's even spelled wrong, but that's what happens when you're in a hurry. Basically, this is just a purchase order for some training equipment. Uh, that I built. So I'll drag one of these orders in here. We'll take this one called 66884. We'll drag that in. And now it's trying to kind of interpret that document, see what kind of data does it contain. It's then going to try and estimate or guess what kind of document it is. And it actually thinks that it's a purchase order. It's fairly confident that it's a purchase order. So we'll just create a workflow from that document. What that does, I'll just maximize my window here. What that does is it's going to now in what's called UiPath Studio Web, create a robotic process automation. automation. Um, and, and what that does is it looks into what's called a storage bucket. It's basically a folder. And if we look in uh, what's called orchestrator here, we can actually see that folder and we can see the document that it's uh, now building an automation around. So uh, let's uh, close this. We can go and see our storage buckets. We can see this one called DU storage bucket. And inside of that, we have one document 66884. That's the document that we sort of presented to the, uh, the platform just uh, a minute ago. So if we uh, then go back into this sort of workflow here, Basically, what it has built is a workflow that first downloads the file from that storage bucket. Then it uh, 
tries to extract the document data from that file, it's going to write that document data into what's called a variable um, that is called extracted results down here at the bottom. It's then going to try, if it's not happy about the results that it extracted, it's going to try to do what's called a validation and we'll actually disable that for now. And then it'll write the extracted data to the screen. I'm actually going to disable that as well because um, the data that it's going to write to the screen here is what is called the validated data. We'll see that in just a second, but I'll just create a new activity here that um, creates a log message as it's called. And in that log message, we're just going to use the extracted results like that. Now we can try and run this and see what it does. So over here on the right, we can see this sort of uh, log of what it's doing. We can also follow along over here and see that now it's successfully downloading the file and now it's trying to extract the document data. And once it hopefully does that successfully, we should see that data over here on the right. We'll just give it a second to do that. There we go. So basically it extracted the date, the client name, the address, everything, and all of the uh, line items over here as well. So that's how easy it really was. Now, I disabled a couple of activities uh, before. So let's disable this one that I added myself and then enable the other two. Just like that. Then we'll upload another document to our storage bucket. We'll take this one called 50450 and upload it. We will tell the automation over here that the file that we want to download is not this 66884 document. We want instead this one that we just placed in the folder. So now we're looking at a different document and that's always a good exercise. And then we'll try and test it again. Now, once the automation reaches this uh, validate document data stage, it's actually going to pause and it'll give us a chance to validate the data that it's trying to extract. And it'll show us what it thinks the correct data is, and then we can actually correct that um, data if it's not right. So we can see that it's now extracting the data that was successful. It'll now go into the validation stage. And you can see here that it says suspended now. We can then open this um, order in what's called action center. I'll click it. And then I can see here that there's this one unassigned action. If I go into that and click it over here on the left, I can assign it to myself. And that means I can now see and correct any data that might not be right. Everything actually does look good, but just for fun, we'll try to uh, correct some of the data. So instead of um, the shipping name being TCG Las Vegas, Everyone else is in Las Vegas right now for UiPath 4 and 7. I'm not. I'm just doing my job. So we'll, we'll correct this to uh, TCG Los Angeles. So it did extract the correct address, which was Las Vegas. We'll change it uh, to Los Angeles, and then we'll see what happens once we submit this order. We need to go through all of the order lines as well and confirm that they are correct. Click Save and Close and continue down here in the bottom. Click Submit and continue and save. And now when we go back into our automation here, the automation that is suspended right now, we can now resume that. And it should run to completion and actually write out the data that it extracted over here on the right. And we can see that instead of uh, Las Vegas, it actually did write Los Angeles because we told the robot that Las Vegas was not the correct city, although it was. And then it instead wrote uh, Los Angeles. So before we finish, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss some of the content that I have coming up. Now, while what we just built may not be like for real production ready, I think it goes to show just how powerful a product UiPath document understanding has become in just a few short years. Now, if you're a developer like me, you can do even more stuff with it. And that's when it becomes like insanely powerful. Um, and I have more videos on that on my channel, so make sure you watch those. But anyways, look into document understanding, keep an eye on it on my channel as well, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.